OSC Army, welcome back. Now today, I thought I'd tell a little story. I'm going to go back and tell you about the first video game I ever played in my life. And that game is a game called Freelancer that came out, would you believe it, in 2003. I think I first played this game when I was four years old. I have a long-term memory. I, I remember so much about this game. So many amazing memories of my childhood. It really takes me back. And it's such a shame I now have Windows 10 because incompatible on Windows 10. I miss the game so much. I'm just going to tell you a bit about the game and my experience of it and how it made my childhood. First of all, the graphics of the game at the time were fantastic. The out of space systems looked unique, creative, a, a vast variation, a huge variation, many factions that all have different enemies, allies, whatever. You can sell commodities, trade, go everywhere, make money, take on missions, kill a lot of baddies, kill a lot of enemies you have a bad rep with. Oh, such a blast. I had so much fun with this back in those days. Really do miss it. Now, first of all, I want to talk about the story. You play as a guy by the name of Edison Trent, um, who is a Freeport 7 survivor. And Freeport 7 at the beginning of the game is the place you work in a, one of the systems and a bunch of unknown enemies open fire and destroy the station. It makes what you call the colonial news. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, the, the voice acting, for the most part, is good. There are some parts which are mediocre. The characters, they're funny and likeable. Some, some are forgettable, but some are still very memorable. Um, oh yeah, there's so much to do, so many bases to look at. And the pacing of the game is fantastic. Like you start in this point of the map and you get to then go to that part of the map. And you know, it's paced so brilliantly and it's such a reward. It feels so rewarding once you explore the rest of the game. You've got Liberty, Britonia, Kasari, and Rhineland in the vanilla mode. Liberty is the United States, Britonia is the UK, Kasari is Japan and Rhineland is Germany. They all have different flavours and it's such an amazing idea. It's ingenious, all with different factions and everything. And their own backgrounds and knowledge. And, um, okay, back to the story. Um, you meet a woman called Juni um, who offers you some missions in your stay in Liberty after your traumatic experience of surviving the disaster. And later on through the game, Things start going terribly wrong. The police force not doing their job, hunting Freeport 7 survivors down, killing them. We don't know what's going on. Your friends are going missing. Everything is going horribly, horribly wrong. Even the Rhineland forces are opening fire. It's a mess. The colonies is a mess. And it's up to you to find out what's going on how you're going to how to survive and how to save the colonies and yourself such a dramatic game and such an amazing experience oh i've had frustrating moments on the game where some missions are very difficult the game is tough i'm going to say this now the story mode is challenging it offers a challenge even for those experienced in the genre of space shooters it's challenging um, it doesn't hold back at some points, it really tests your skills of how to use a mouse and cursor and, and the keyboards. It's very difficult game, very, very difficult. You have to plan ahead, think about how you're going to win, and oh, it's brilliant, it's brilliant. It, there's, there's so much freedom in the game. <laughs> Sorry about that. There is so much freedom in the game, you can... Um, um, there's only two systems in the game you can't revisit, and that is Tohoku and Alaska. Those are story only, but you can revisit it, guess what? In the Discovery mod. That's right, the game has mods on online which you can which you can install and put onto the game, but you have to have the game first. You can't get it without the game. 
After I beat the story mode, what I usually do is I go to the Omicron system. But before you do that, make sure you take missions in Rhineland and kill some enemies of the faction the Corsairs. Trust me. Don't ever, ever go to the Omicrons if you've got a good rep with the police and the military. Because you'll get your ass kicked in seconds flat. Okay, the Outcasts and the Corsairs are the strongest main factions in the vanilla mode. And in the Omicrons, they're, they're brutal. They're, they'll wreck your face. End of. And um, I'm, I don't really want to spoil it, but the strongest faction in the vanilla mode, and I think in the entire game, even on the mods, the nomads, the aliens, try to take over the colony and wipe out humanity. Their ships are powerful, their weapons are powerful, their weapons are blisteringly powerful, even after you beat the story mode. Um, fun fact, you can get the Nomad guns in the Easter Egg systems, which are main systems in the Discovery mode. Um, they're badass, and I highly recommend getting the guns, equip them, go to the police systems and wreck them, go pew pew pew! You know, wipe their asses with their own toilet paper. It's brilliant. Oh, my childhood. And every time I came back from school, I would do just that. Leave up the Omicron systems, Take the jump gate to one of the systems and blast some police and military and some super supermarkets. Oh, fantastic. I, I loved it. I want it again. I want to get it again. And as I said, after you beat the story mode and the vanilla game entirely, get Discovery for more factions, even more systems, a load of systems, and more weapons, more factions, and harder, harder side missions at the bar. Even has own news, what's going on. The news isn't that important, but news nonetheless. And, um, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That's pretty much my childhood right there in a nutshell. A brilliant game. Loved it. So much variation. Underrated. It's such a pity Freelancer wasn't a very well known game. I don't think people heard much about it, weren't interested, and never gave it a go, and they judged it saying, who cares? Never judge a book by its cover of CR, that's all I've got to say about that. Freelancer, the greatest space shooter game of all time, and one of my personal favourite games, of, in my opinion. It's, and at the time it was, it was brilliant, and it's still pretty good now. I highly recommend picking up if you've got a Windows 7 PC. You won't regret it. That's it with C Army, wanted to tell you all about my first game I ever played, put my hands on. And that's that for now. Add my social media with the usernames in the description down below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one.